Yeah, Jedediah, just out here trying to get it, man. By any means necessary, you feel me? Yeah. Let's go. 24/7 hard work and dedication. 24/7 hard work and dedication. Hey, what's goody? What's goody, everybody? My name is Jedediah. This is the Jedediah podcast, and today we have on. Very special guest. He's no stranger to the podcast. Uh, goes by the hardest essay ever, the one and only Peso Peso. What's the word? What's good, brother? How you feeling? Good, blessed. Yes, sir. Ski. Great to have you on. Uh, what's going on, man? What's, what's, what you been up to? Shit's been working. Yeah, yeah. Working. Working, grinding. Um, and trying to uh, fuck with the family whenever I can when I'm not working. You mm-hmm. feel me? Yeah. Yeah, you were telling me you just came, you just got home not too long ago from Hawaii. Yes, yeah. sir. And then, uh, so now you're back to it, though, huh? Yeah, nah, stay working, always. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, shit, in the last week or two, I done been in North Carolina, all, all of North Carolina, South Carolina, from Raleigh to Charlotte to Greensville, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, L.A., Austin, just got back from Austin last night. Yeah. Feel me so uh, yeah. A lot of artists is, like I know like like just released a project. Oh yeah yeah. LA, LA Fitness, Fitness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. that holds hard. And um, uh, got I just turned another project in Street Pain. That's gonna be coming out in probably like a month. Okay. You know what Street I'm Pain. I got like I got like six more albums like recorded already ready to go. Mm-hmm. Got like thirty music videos recorded. Dang. So um, okay, yeah, just working man. Do you enjoy being on the road, or do you just you know you know you got to do it because you're an artist? You gotta you gotta get out there. Um, I would say that I enjoy work. Period. Okay. Um, being on the road, I enjoy it. I, I definitely um be uh miss. I be I, I be getting homesick every now and then. You know what I'm saying missing the family, but um, my my, my head goes like this. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And my uh, work ethic is just on a on a fast pace. Mm-hmm. So shit, yeah. Has there? Um, I, I've noticed a lot of artists. Is, you know, like they I, I like like for for instance, uh, uh, I think Russ just canceled his tour. Um, uh, uh, a lot of a lot of artists. I've noticed like like they'll they go at it they go at it so hard and it just catches up to them. Has, have you ever reached that point where it's like it's like you have, where you've had to tell yourself, man, let me slow down, like or or not 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 at all. I don't think I've experienced that yet okay okay i got Same. you but i know I, I know i be needing to slow down but i can't yeah i hear you, you know what i'm saying i can't i can't slow down like i feel like i'd rather go hard in my young in my younger ages mm-hmm. so i can be kicked up when i'm older you know what i'm saying there you go there you go yeah hell yeah me? hell yeah hell yeah i want when i'm 50 when I'm fifty plus years old, I want to be just laid up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fucking getting a back massage. <laughs> yeah. S- smoking on some good weed. Yeah. Motherfucking me watching fucking whatever. On some Jay Z type yeah, shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Watching watching whatever's good on TV. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And me I know and my, me and my wife just laid back, just cooling. Money mm-hmm. good. Kids straight. You know what I'm saying they already making millions. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. How is the family? Great. Mm-hmm. You just had a, a a daughter recently, not too long ago, correct? Last year. Last year. Okay. 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 So you have I don't know. You got you just Zay. So that's two kids. I have two kids. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any da- more? A daughter and a son. Um, I'm not asking for no more, but whatever God give me, mm-hmm. that's what He gives me. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. I'm not asking for no more, but I'm not running from I'm not running from nothing. Okay. Okay. Whatever is destined for me, that's what's destined for me. Ten for God, ten. Be, God be uh taking care of me and shit. He makes sure I'm always good in any situation. So I know whatever situation he puts me in, mm-hmm. he, I'm blessed. Already, already. And uh I know you just uh I think uh, I saw you make some uh renovations to your car or you just you just got a new car? Um I got a, I got the Hellcat Durango truck. Mm-hmm. Um I wrapped it, sat in red. Um, put a uh, put the uh, red forges on there. Put letters on my tires, uh, peso letters. Mm-hmm. Uh, put the lights on it, tinted it up. You know what I'm saying okay, okay. Bad motherfucker. And then uh, I put the Lambo. I got the Lambo done next. Mm-hmm. 
with the same thing. Yeah. You feel me? And um, yeah, I got another surprise too in about like a week. Okay. Yeah. No, I saw I saw I saw the Durango man. It, it looked hard, man. Um, if you ever want to switch cars, man, let me. If you want to trade cars for a day, man, let me know. Mm-hmm. I got me this uh, uh 2010 Toyota Corolla. You know, very mm-hmm. fuel efficient. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Loud speakers. The AC been acting up a little bit, but other than that, that, that whole, that whole hard. It's, a, it's a great. It's a great car. But uh, okay, you say you got you got something else coming for us. A little, a little. You got another surprise coming up. You say? Yeah, next week. Okay, next okay. week surprise, man. I like your little vlog videos you've been doing lately. Uh, uh, the life of peso. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, yeah. <laughs> I saw you go off on this one guy. Uh, I think he was cleaning your car or something. I put my Lamborghini through the bank, and I got scratches all on. Hey, bro. You got scratches on the Hey, bro. Come here, bro. Hey, bro. I'm not playing, bro. It's not to me, man. I'm not playing, bro. What I'm not doing? fucking around, bro. Hey, what, man? I'll fuck with you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a prank. It was a prank. <laughs> okay. What What inspired you to want to start doing uh, things like making videos like that? I just want people to like get the other side of me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I feel like my fans deserve that. You feel me? Just mm-hmm. like not just getting one side as far as like just the music side. Mm-hmm. Like, I want them to get all different. I want I want them to know me. You know what I'm saying? More than just the music. You feel me? Okay. So, the behind the scenes. I feel like the best thing to do that was vlog. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's it. What I've been doing. Okay. 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 Um, and speaking of the fans, man, you know, I, I think I've I've seen you perform like over probably I don't know so many times already, and I wanted to talk about your uh, the hardest essay ever song, because you know uh, I I've probably seen you perform this song like five times already, and every time you do, the crowd just goes crazy. Do you still remember when you created that song? Yeah. Okay. How long did it take you to finish the lyrics to it? Do you, do you remember? Uh, like fifteen twenty minutes. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Did you expect the the song to get the kind of reaction that it got? Uh, I, I did actually. Okay, I knew it was gonna do that. I knew it was gonna go crazy because that's whenever like I had first came out and I had a lot of eyes on mm-hmm. me at the time, which I still do. But when you're new, that's whenever like it's fresh. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So um, I, I knew that I was gonna shake the. You know what I'm saying? Because I I felt like people ain't they knew I had it in me, but. They were just waiting on me to explode, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And then I was new to the world, so I knew, like, a lot of people that seen it that never seen me before. Right. I knew it was going to be a good first impression. Okay, okay, okay. It, uh, Go ahead. You go, you go, you go. What's up, what's up, Walt? Do an interview. Uh, I'm going to call you later, man. All right, bet. Just text me, oh yeah, you tell some business that you have to copy, yeah, talk about whatever. We're going to chop it up. All right, bitch. You said walk, Sauce Walker? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out Sauce Walker. Um, okay, so speaking of which, uh, did were you were you signed with Sauce Walker at the time when you put that song out? Were you like associated was, with him? I was, actually. Okay, and you are signed with TSF, correct? Like the paperwork and everything? Yeah, TSF, that's forever, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. As as I'm I'm TSF for life, you know what I'm okay. saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you know, um, when that song came out, um, talk to me about like did did the the reaction of you know like did did it come right away like people like just like oh shit like you know what I'm saying or or did it take a little while for for mm-hmm. it to hit the people? Nah, it went right away. Okay, okay. it went right away. That that's that shit. Right when I dropped it, it was a sensation. Okay. You got to understand, I was the only Mexican popping my shit at that time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as, like, in Texas, you feel me? Okay. I was the only Mexican. Like, it wasn't, like, it was Mexican artists that, like, rapping and shit, like, doing that, like, but, uh, like, as far as, like, I was the only one, like, buzzing, like, on a real popular level, you feel me? Mm-hmm. At that time. Mm-hmm. Now we got a lot, a lot of Mexican artists going crazy. Feel me, but at that time, I was the only one. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that lane was just like, it was just there. You know what I'm saying? Like it was so open. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So shit. Whenever, whenever, like I jumped in. Whenever, like whenever that song dropped, it just 
Went crazy. Feel yeah. Me. Yeah. And and what about, you know, I know people love that, you know, you know, and every, uh, and I know it was a big song for you, but did the backlash hit immediately as well? Like the backlash nah, of, for that song? Nah. Okay. Backlash ain't started hitting until like, I feel like people like, I feel like, what I feel like is a lot of people like started like, after like I'm, I after like I put that out there, you know what I'm saying, and started going crazy. That made people start watching. Don't get it twisted. Like before me, you got the SPMs. You got you know what I'm saying. Um, expect, like I was with Cap G the other day. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. He been going crazy since he was about like 17, 18 years old. You know what I'm saying. Shout out Cap G. Cali, go crazy. You know what I'm saying. Like, don't get it twisted. This Mexican artist is before me, but. Whenever I came out, especially with Texas, it put, like, a different, like, it just put the eyes on Mexicans more as far as, like, Texas. Like, it, mm-hmm. I feel like it gave, like, everybody, like, a chance. Like, I, as far as, like, I, Mexicans hard, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm, you've been mm-hmm. sleeping on the Mexicans, you feel me? Yeah. So, because with, even with the SPM shit, like, he had black fans, but not really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. mainly Mexican fans. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I got black fans too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. don't just have Mexican fans. Yeah, I got Mexican, whites, and blacks to listen to my music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and like other races, of course. Yeah, I think then that, that was, I think that's what makes made you different from the rest when it comes to the the, the Latin you know Latin rappers and shit because you were able to get not just the Mexicans to to rock with it, but like. The blacks and the whites, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. So, like, not just on no, a black see my show on Instagram and be like, oh, he hard. No, like, these niggas are really, like, getting on YouTube and streaming and going on Apple Music and they really they really streaming my music, you know what I'm saying? Pulling into my shows, coming to my pop ups, you know what I'm saying? So, bl- black artists is paying me for features, you feel me? So, right. I feel like that, like, put, like, eyes on other Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we feeling like, like, there are people already rapping, doing their shit, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So not only did it give, give other rappers, like, confidence, you know what I'm saying, on the Mexican side, but that's what's hot, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what people are, are, are looking at right now. And don't get twisted. I'm not trying to say that, oh, uh, I'm the first Mexican to rap or none of that, because like I said, it's been people before me. Yeah. But as far as, like, I feel like whenever I came out, I put a different type of energy out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And that shit really, like, spread it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, bro, like, but at the end of the day, I'm just a, a Texas Mexican. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We, we're a little different. You feel me? Yeah. We dress different. You know what I'm saying? Um, we talk different. Mm-hmm. So, it's just, I don't, I don't know, but. That shit, it, it, I, I feel like it shed a good light on Mexican artists. It gave a lot of Mexican artists confidence to, yeah. you know what I'm saying, do their shit and go with their move, you feel me? I feel like I didn't get that. At first, I didn't get that, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But after everybody, like, started rapping and going crazy, like, doing their shit and, like, getting out of variety, rapping, that's whenever people start getting ahead of themselves. As far as like now, you got these lists dropping. Now you got the fans. All, all the fans got their favorite artists they listen to. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, that'll get that'll get in, in people's heads sometimes. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Some people, some people don't care about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Some people are just they just whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't they don't let that shit get to their head. But some people will be like, no, I'm the hardest Mexican. Yeah. I'm the hardest. I'm the hardest. Whenever, at the end of the day, me me calling myself the hardest SA ever, like, that's not me telling you that I'm better than you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's my phrase. That's my brand. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That explains me. You feel me? Yeah. Like, whenever people say, no, this nigga the hardest SA ever, he, how can he be the hardest SA ever? Whenever, that's my shit. Yeah. I came up with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. nobody came up with that but me. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. That's not what they go by. They don't go by peso, peso, the hardest essay ever. I do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
So they be getting misconstrued sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The blogs be hyping it up, the fans or whatever. But um, nah, I didn't go through that at first. I went through that. Pe- I went through people like with the with it being um so uh, controversial. Mm-hmm. After like other rappers started getting a buzz, you feel me? Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. And it gets deeper. It gets deeper. Like you know, and I know you spoke on it like a million times. You know, with the, you know how some artists. How some people will feel a way that uh, they'll feel a way about how you use the word essay, and it it gets deep, and 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 you know it's 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 and, and, and crazy wanna, to I me. I want to say like we got that shit cleared up mm-hmm. with the Cali, like yeah, you got a couple people that probably still like don't understand or still be hating, but a lot of people, a lot of people in Cali, a lot of Southsiders, like they really like respect and understand the Texas movement now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as like. Like with the essay shit, they know that we've been getting called essay for since before our parents were born. You know what I'm saying? And I don't got nothing to do with Southsiders or none of that shit. And we respect the game politics and respect all that that y'all call yourself essays. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's cool. But we do too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just in a different way. Yeah, like we don't. It's not on no gang shit. It's on some shit. He a vato. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he an essay. You feel me? He a Mexican, you know what I'm saying? That's what he is. I wonder, and maybe you can answer this. Uh, I wonder if they use the N word as heavy as we do. They don't, like in Cali. They don't. Okay. They don't, but some people still use it though. You know what I mean, you got other rappers that still use it in their lyrics too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mexican rappers from Cali use it in their rap lyrics. Yeah. So, How do you not, feel not about er- that? Because everybody does it, but some of them do. How do you feel about that? Like the the N word conversation, like. Cause I know you use it in your raps, and and a lot of people they give you hate for that, you know. Um, they I say li- that I we li- shouldn't use, we shouldn't. It's not a, a, our word to use, type shit. Shit, tell that, tell that to a black person in Texas. Right, tell it's a, different. Tell a black dude in Texas that that hey, Mexicans shouldn't use the N word, and they gonna say, why the fuck they can't? Yeah, like bro, like. I don't know if, if people understand, but Mexicans and blacks are in the same boat. You know what I'm saying? When it, As far as it comes down to, like, being segregated in, in the United States. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, we all go through the same shit. You feel me? We're minorities. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? Like, don't get it twisted. It's white people that go through shit, too. But we all motherfucking me grew up in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking me, uh, 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 look, look, uh, get frowned upon because of our skin. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, we go through the same shit. You feel me? It's it's similar. It might not be the exact same, but it's similar. You mm-hmm. feel me? So in Texas, like that's like people that shit don't get frowned upon when Mexicans say the N word. You feel me? Right, 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 right. Like, yeah, shit. It's just. But I, I respect other people's point of views, though, at the same time. Mm. Like, if you think this is wrong because how y'all how y'all live in your state, and you're absolutely right. You know what I'm saying? Because where you're from, this don't fly. But also, where you're from, it's probably not a lot of Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, yeah. So yeah. y'all looking at it like, we like white boys or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, white boys can't say the N word, so neither can they. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, like yeah. I, like I said, bro, I don't care to say the N word. It just like, what's up, my nigga? You feel me? Yeah, yeah. You, it's it's just, another it's, synonym for like my dog, my homie type yeah, shit. Yeah, it's just it's just a natural thing. You feel me? Mm-hmm. They yeah. probably trip out how we call each other bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's up, bitch? <laughs> yeah. Uh, nah, hell, yeah, I love that nigga. That, that, that my bitch right, yeah. right there. I fuck with that nigga. You feel and me? we might feel a different way about how they use certain words, you know? Exactly. exactly. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Now, before we move on to the next thing, how old were you when you when you dropped that uh that hardest essay ever song? Uh, about 22 years old. Okay. 22. 22 maybe 23. Mm. Okay. Um, Who shot the video for that? 
D Green did. Of course, of course. Yeah, D, D Green. D Green shot the video. D Green shot a lot of all like he really shot down there all my early videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big shout out to D Green's, uh, one of the coldest cameramans in the world, not just Texas. Um, are you still? You still? Do you still work with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my dog. Hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, all right. Uh, I've seen. SPM shot you out a few times. You know, I know he's in jail, but, you know, I've seen a few interviews of him. Uh, you know, people interview him while he's in jail. And he's all, when they, every time they ask him, you know, who he likes to listen to, you know, he always mentions your name always comes up. Uh, do you have, uh, what's your, like, have you ever spoke? I'm pretty sure you've spoken with him before. Yeah, uh, what's that relationship like? Um, see, just like any other relationship, you know what I'm saying? Like, Yes, shit, cool guy. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Do you have any any music out with him? No, nah, I don't. Okay, okay. I know, I know. Uh, he, you know, he he might be getting out pretty soon. Uh, would you be open to that working with SPM? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. What do you? Uh, uh, what do you? What do you think it's gonna be like when he gets out? You know, when he gets released. Um, shit. I know the fans. His fans are gonna go crazy. Mm-hmm. Like off the muscle. You know what I'm saying? So. Like I said, his fans never left. You feel me? Yeah. All his fans jam his every drop, jam his old music. So, like I said, I know even now, today, we were just talking about this yesterday. I know just off his streams alone, his family is is well taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, Hell yeah. I, know, I, I can only imagine if he was out. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I know for a fact. Like you said, a lot of people, his fans are gonna go crazy when he gets out. But I, I, I do know. I, I wonder, like, what, like the haters. You know, I know the the haters are gonna be there. They're gonna bring up the past and everything. And I just wonder what that's gonna look like. Um, I can. I wouldn't know. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? But what I do know is people are gonna hate regardless. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You can't let that stop nothing. You know what I'm saying? People hate on me. I don't care. Yeah. I keep going. What I'm supposed to do, quit? Because mm-hmm. somebody don't like what I got going on? Mm-hmm. You feel know I me? Mean? Most people that hate don't got shit going on. Don't got nothing. Ain't doing nothing with their life at all. Mm-hmm. You feel know I me? Mean? They just yeah. on the sideline hating. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, I noticed that you don't really you don't really clap back like like when, when other artists go at you in songs, when they make diss songs about you. Because most of them don't even be having 100,000 followers. I, mean, I know they don't got a hundred thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not finna beef with somebody who ain't on my level. Because they don't want real street beef. They want rap beef. Mm-hmm. Cause you wanna get some clout. You know what I'm saying? You're not with that. Well, I'm not finna just give you clout just because I ain't gonna lie. You get you've you've given people careers just by them going at you. Like I know some people who who've who dissed you. I I I've never heard of them before. Only when they mentioned when they brought your name up. That's the only time I've heard of, and I know other people that 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 can say the same thing. So you know, it definitely, it definitely draws attention. The the yeah. the rap the rap beef. Yeah, yeah. But I see, but but you know, I've, I was just I've, I've always been curious why you never entertain it. You never, and and like you said, I, I, I guess your response, you know, they they they're not on my level type, basically at all. Mm-hmm. Like no, no rapper that ever came to me is on my level at mm-hmm. all. Not even close. They can't see me at all. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. What if what if there was an artist, you know, that was on your level in terms of popularity, followers, streams, all that, or or you know, would you would you respond to someone like that? I would consider it more. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Okay. You feel me? I would definitely consider it more because whatever they say about me, whether it's true or not, is going to gain way more traction. These people that be, first of all, it really depends on the situation, on what type of shit, why they got a problem with me, and what they're saying about me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. When you're saying a whole bunch of lies, and you basically don't got no problem with me, but you want to just rap beef, I'm not going to give you no attention, because mm-hmm. I know what you're on. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you're helping them more so than... Yourself Exactly Yeah If that's the case You might as well just pay for a feature You know what I'm saying <laughs> Yeah 
Yeah, it's just crazy how beef is, is it's I think you even said this like people love bullshit and it's it just it's it's crazy how 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 you know you can go like you can like you can make a career. I think 669 did that, you know, he made a make a career off of going at people right. that you know you really don't have no real beef with. Right. And uh but uh no, I got you. I got you. I got you. Um let's see. Um now I I saw I saw you you did a song uh, not too long ago with uh, with D Baby on the uh, on that Texaco uh, that one uh, on the I think it was for his uh, his label dropped it. Um, can you speak on like the first when when the first time was you met D Baby and what what that relationship is like? Uh, first time I met D Baby, I was fucking with D Baby whenever he first started rapping. You know what I'm saying? Um, how old what, how old were you guys at this time? <sighs> He was he had to have been at least like sixteen, seventeen years old. Okay, you know what I'm saying, but so, and he, that was he he wasn't going by D Baby at that time, was he? he was I think he was calling himself something else. Yeah, he was calling himself something else. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. It was similar to D Baby though, but um, anyways, um, um, yeah, I always knew he was gonna like go crazy. You feel me? It was just a matter of the world getting hip to him. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like before anybody, any of us was buzzing. I personally liked his music, you know what I'm saying? Personally would listen to his music. So um So basically uh Yeah, it was just a matter of time, you know what I'm saying, the world getting hip to him like everybody else. And it's crazy cuz like I've been knowing Brick, mm-hmm. I've been knowing D-Baby, you feel me? Um and it's just it's just crazy how like all of us are in different positions now, you know what I'm saying? And we're all like yeah, making money off rap, taking care of our family. And it's history, like we've been knowing each other, you know what I'm saying, since before this shit. Yeah. But like we all made it, you know what I'm saying? Do you still remember the first time you met him? Or first it was too long ago. First D time. baby. Um the very first time. Yeah, I I think I met him at like I I, I for sure met him. Like at a like in a studio or something. You feel gotcha. Me? It's been love ever since I met him though. Gotcha. I, I don't remember the first exact time I met him, but I know that shit was like when he was like seventeen years old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No older than seventeen for sure. Yeah. But yeah. What about Brick? D Baby always been showing love, bro. He's always supported me. He's always rocked with me. Even whenever I was in jail, you know what I'm saying? He was writing me letters. He's the only nigga that wrote me letters and shit. Really? Oh yeah, he did say that. Yeah. So uh what was he writing you about? What did he What did he write you? Just what you supposed to write your dog whenever he doing time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, yeah. Just giving giving that support system. Yeah. How How long were you in jail? Like ten months. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How long ago was this? Probably like six years ago. Six years. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you don't mind me asking, what 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 did you What were you in jail for? Um, I had my my house got drug raided. You know oh, saying? word. So I got caught with like, you know what I'm saying, like a good amount of peas and shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So shit. So it was six years ago. Were you were you a minor at this time, or were you already like? Uh, no, nah, I was a, I was an adult. Okay, okay, I was okay. An adult. I was probably like 20 years old. Okay, okay. I got you. So, you, so you're so you're like what 26, 27, right now? Yeah. Okay. I'm 27. Yep. 27. I got you. I got you. Okay. Um. Now, Brick. Uh, w- when was the first time you met Brick? You still, if you, if you can still remember that, did you know him before D Baby or after? You know, it's crazy. What's that? I met Brick at his dad's funeral. Wow, crazy! Huh? Wow, I I never knew this. That I is met crazy. Brick at his dad's funeral. Did you know of him before? Before? I did. Okay. I okay. Did. And he knew of me too. Okay. But I met him at his dad's funeral. What was that like? Cause I'm pretty sure you know his dad just died, uh, you know. And for people who don't know, I, I, but like, yep, I was fucking with a nigga named Noya Chapo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out, yeah, from he from Galveston. He from Galveston, so we, you know what I'm saying? We were fucking with each other tough because he stayed in Tech City too. And uh, one day he just asked me. I had heard about the situation. I I was fucking with Brick and his brothers and the whole little, uh, I mean the whole Wolfpack movement. You know what I'm saying? And um, I had seen what happened. It, it, that, that that shit fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not just no 
that's just not, that ain't no regular shit that you wake up to. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So it was like a real tragedy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, like I said, I was fucking with Noya real tough. And that nigga hit me and was like, man, well, I, I had been talking to him about it, Like, man, it's fucked up. Let them niggas know that, like, sending my respect. You know what I'm saying? My condolences and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And shit. He hit me and he was like, man, I'm finna go to this funeral. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm finna go to uh, Brick and the Don and AD fu- uh, Daddy funeral. You know what I'm saying? You want to ride? And I was like, hell yeah. So shit, I rode with him and shit. Mm-hmm. And shit, just to show my condolences and pay my respects. You feel me? Right, right. Because uh, like I said, I already knew of him. You know what I'm saying? He was already doing music, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They've they been doing music for, they've been, they, they been doing music and not doing music, been involved in music for quite a time. You feel me? Yeah. So shit, I gotta say I pay my respects and shit, and uh, that's that's when I really like met them. You feel me? It's been up ever since. Yeah, we've been locked in ever since. Okay, he keeps talking about a collab album with you, uh, with you and him. Is yeah, we, <laughs> we really already done the recording side. Okay, we probably got like one more song we need to do. Where is it gonna be? Uh, is, are we talking about an EP album or like a? Man, she got like ten full length. Oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. What's the, what's the name of the album? Man, we ain't got no name yet. He he uh, he said something about bracelet, uh, bracelet boards or some shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, so he already he already he already <laughs> peeled the cover. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. He told y'all and shit. I know what it is, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout out, brick. Shout out, brick. Um, okay. Um, I want to talk about the trip in LA you just had. Um. To my understanding, you guys were out there in L.A. to do, like, a cypher for BET. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. How did that go? Shit, live. Um, shit, Walk did his shit, man. He killed mm-hmm. that. He killed the freestyle. I feel like... I feel like they should have put him around a bigger caliber of artists because he's too ahead of his... He's too ahead of himself, like... Mm-hmm. That nigga raps crazy, like yeah, hell yeah. The way he raps is not normal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like he should have been around bigger artists. You know what I'm saying? But the artists that he was around, you know what I'm saying? They're decent. They did. They did. What they, they did what they're supposed to do. You feel me? Uh, I I enjoy their uh their, their freestyles and shit. I just really didn't know them too well. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But uh, not saying that they ain't, they ain't finna. Do what they supposed to do, and and and, and um, and I saying that they ain't gonna get the notoriety that they deserve, but yeah, like shit, Walt killed that bitch, bro. Mm-hmm. You know Were you saying? there with him when he did his? When he, yeah, he I was, spit his verse. I was right there. Okay, I was. I wasn't even supposed to be right there, but I snuck. I snuck in the little, <laughs> in the little camera, you know, okay. behind the camera and shit. You feel me? Okay, okay, okay. Had to witness that shit. It was BT. Yeah. Hell yeah! All right, now was this before or after everything went down? Uh, the shooting and everything. Um, all this the shit that that bro put on the um that that bro told everybody. You know what I'm saying? That shit ha- well, that shit happened after he rapped. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Were yeah. you with him? Yeah, when I, that happened? I, I was. I was right. I was right beside him. Okay. Okay. So you were there. You were there when um. Okay. So the, uh, for people who don't know, like um. Somebody uh, ran up on Sauce Walker, and feel free to interrupt me because I know you were there. So, somebody ran up on him, try to try to rob him. Is that is that right? Man, I ain't gonna lie. Like, whatever he whatever he said, that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't want to get on here and explain what what, what happened. All I'm gonna say is is that. This is to all the people who do knucklehead shit and want to crash out and think that you can just take and do anything to anybody. Just understand it's always somebody more tougher than you. You know what I'm saying? It's always somebody, someone out there who's, I don't care how tough you are, I don't care how strong you are, it's always someone out there that's either can match your strength or is way stronger than you and way tougher than you. And you don't know what people, what type of day somebody's going through. You know what I'm saying? So before you go with your move, just think about that. You know what I'm saying? And that's all that's all I'm gonna say about that. You feel okay. me? Like I don't wanna get into details about what happened because that's not what 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 I do. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
But as far as that, that's that that's the best way I can explain it. All, before you go with your move to do some, don't think that all these rappers are just sweet. You know what I'm saying? Because we go through real life situations. I don't care about how much money we got. I don't care. I don't care if you catch somebody by themselves. Just understand that what comes with that shit. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Yeah, yeah. For real. I got that's you. All, that's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? I got that's you. All, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I can say. I mean, we live the most dangerous lifestyle. You feel me? Yeah. And, um, yeah, just 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 know that shit. Not every not ever not every rapper is in that is in the same boat as the other rappers that just cool with getting robbed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit don't go. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. L.A. and L.A. especially, man. Um, deadly city for rappers lately. Um, and I know um, we, we won't we won't get into it, but uh, uh, what, what someone who's who's close to Sauce? What, what, how is how is he right now? Um, that nigga just made a hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars. I think that nigga that nigga good. <laughs> good. Okay, okay. Uh, now um, I did I did want to speak uh, speak on uh, like your you know how you how Sauce how you guys connected. Uh, can you talk about like the uh, the first time you guys? Came together. Uh, who did he reach out to you, or how did that go? Um, nah, I mean, shit. We just we just naturally just kept meeting, kept fought, running into each other. Mm-hmm. Shit, it just went up for it, went up from there, like shit. Mm-hmm. And you were the the first Mexican rapper he uh he he signed to the TSF. I was the first artist he signed. Period. Oh. I'm the I'm the reason that he got on his this on his CEO shit. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like, to be honest, like I feel like that. I feel like he wasn't like he was definitely like he was just a rapper. He definitely owned the T the the the, the, the TSF label. He definitely was getting money and doing. But as far as like manning up and getting on business on the business tip, he had to because shit. Whenever I came in, whenever he whenever he put me down, it's like I took off. You know what I'm saying? So shit, he had to think as as far as like on a CEO level, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So shit, yeah. That's how that shit went. Yeah, yeah. Did you did you? Uh, I know he just did a song with Megan, Megan the Stallion. Yep. Uh, were you? Did you? Did, have you heard the track yet? It's out. Yeah. Have you heard it? That's what I'm saying. Like, have oh you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it before it came out. Okay. 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 Now that's what's up. That's what's up. I, I liked at the end. He 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 went off at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, and uh, he's always said that before, like you know, with the how the rap game, you know, it, it, like his position on rappers who who take the Houston sound but don't give credit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how do you feel about that? Like you know, like rappers who who take who fuck with the sound but don't give credit back. To be honest, I really don't give a fuck. You know okay. What I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Shit. Just doing you. I feel like everybody do that shit. Look at the Detroit wave. Everybody rapping on the Detroit beat, including myself. I like the Detroit beach. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like everybody like takes from everybody, even with the fashion game. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All clothing lines take from other clothing lines. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes, and shit. It's gonna it's, it's gonna keep going like that, whether we like it or not. So. I don't be caring, you know what I'm saying, shit. Mm-hmm. And I feel like a lot of people do show love back to Houston, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They do songs with other artists in Houston. Um, they come out here, they perform. They pay Houston bitches money to have sex with them, you know what I'm saying? Hold up, what? They they what? Rappers <laughs> rappers come out here and pay and pay these Houston bitches to have sex with them. Okay. Do I gotta say it again. Okay. No, I just that just I just I didn't so, know that. It's crazy. Okay, uh, see, I know, I know, I know some <laughs> bitches that that shit, nigga. They live in a uh, 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 penthouses on the motherfucking me top roof. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Out these rappers, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And um, shit, I, I feel like they give back to Houston. And shit. Okay, <laughs> yeah, they give back to Houston in some type of way. Right okay, there. okay. Have you ever fell in love with a stripper before? Never, never, never. Okay. I ain't never fell in love with nobody but the girl I got right now. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. 
Um, okay, okay. I, I seen you go live with a uh, zero the other day, and I'm the only rapper to ever do that. Oh, really? Okay. okay. Zero. Only, <laughs> when have you ever seen zero even go live? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Not, much not less really. go. Much less go live with another rapper. Yeah, that that just happened naturally. Zero or was fuck, that planned? Zero fucks with me, bro. Mm -hmm. He fucks with me, and I grew up on zero. Yeah, that nigga, harder than a bitch. Yeah, been fucking with zero forever. So uh, I was at his house not too long ago. Yeah, on some music shit or, yeah. or what? Yep, he wrapped up my Street Pain album. Whoa, okay, okay. Is it? Uh, do y'all don't have y'all don't have any music out? Mm -mm. Right? I okay. Because I was looking for it. First song I ever did before with him. Yeah. Okay. And it's gonna be on your street street paint. Yeah. What what uh uh what's the song called? Um the song is gonna be called Reality. Reality check. Reality. And y'all recorded it. You said he came to your house and y'all did it uh with both of you guys present. I did it at his house. At his house. At his house. Okay. Yeah. Man, what's a zero? What's a zero feature going for these days? Shit, I don't know. I can only get at least like twenty, thirty thousand. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What about a peso feature? Shit. Get my DM. <laughs> it's a DM. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's, it's priceless. Yes, sir. Uh oh. Let's go. Yeah, that that's the one. Yeah. Let's go. That's live, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You got him singing on there and everything. Sir. That's what's up. Um, did did it did it hurt to see um everything that went down with him and Trey? I think that shit was lame. I don't like to speak on it too much, but I don't, I, don't, I ain't I wasn't fucking with that. Yeah, I yeah, wasn't fucking with that. But at the end of the day, shit, I don't want to speak on they a business because I don't got nothing to do with it, and I don't know what's going on. I don't know the details. <clears throat> but what I will say is, man, bro, that nigga zero one to catch. This is what I was. He was ready, bro. <laughs> he was ready. He got up. My nigga got up. He tried to chase that boy down. <laughs> he did get up, bro. Real talk, days and all, bro. Yeah. So shit, yeah. I guess zero is proud. And I don't care. No, what nobody say. Nobody can say, man. <laughs> Zero this and zero that man, bro. Zero was trying to fight. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. You can't you can't say you know like he wasn't he wasn't with it. It definitely was lame watching him get jumped. I ain't want to see that. Yeah, man. There's people. I are, wish that shit wouldn't even made the internet. Yeah, I wish it would have just stayed internal, man. Uh, it, it sucks to see as as a not only a zero fan but as a Houstonian. You know, when you think about everything Trey's done for the city. And, you know, I, like you said, I don't want to really get into it. You know, a lot of people feel different ways about it. It's a sensitive situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you got the street perspective, and then you got, like, you know, just uh, as a fan, as a, as, a, as, a, as a regular person, and just hopefully that shit gets solved am amicably. Hopefully they can get that shit, get that shit together. Um, all right, so you got a song with Zero coming out. Anyone else you've been working with? Um. I know, I know you've done a song with Paul Wall. Oh, bro. Yeah. Man, shout out Lil' Kiki and Big Pokey, man. They got me on the album. Let's go. Shout out Lil' <laughs> Kiki and Big Pokey. They don't understand how legendary that is. Yeah. They don't understand how legendary that is. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Paul Wall is on the song, too. Me and Paul Wall is on the song together. Paul Wall is a good dude, man. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I love that dude. Pure energy. Real real good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, He, I just, I was just at his dog show. He, had a, he, he does his little... Swinging in the rain annual event that whole had it packed out, crazy. Um, but uh, how how did the one with you and uh, uh, Kiki and Pokey come about? Shit, they just hit me up and said they wanted me on the project. Mm -hmm. Shit, I was honored. Straight like that, did it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I saw it like uh, you were saw you perform the other day, um, and I saw you I saw you connect with that Mexican OT. Right. Uh, another up and coming artist. Uh, he's Bay City, Bay City. 
uh, out, right on the outskirts of Houston. Right. Uh, and I saw I saw you you exchange some words with him after after your performance. Right. Uh, what, what what did what did you tell him? Man, we're going to keep that shit private. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. No, I got you. Just know that everything good. You feel me? Yeah. Everything good and smooth, <laughs> baby. Okay. <laughs> and, 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 uh-oh. Yeah, let's go. You know Damn. Come on, I need that peso. I need that peso. <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it. When did y'all do this? Uh, the other night. Oh, God damn. God damn. What's that whole call? I don't know. Ain't got a name for I it. I can't tell you yet. Oh, man. Can't tell you yet. Oh, man. Okay. That's what's up, bro. Y'all, 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 y'all done hopped in the booth. I've been working with Cap G, too. Mm-hmm. And Cap G going to do, you know what I'm saying, a little project. Okay. Okay. Have you worked with him before? I have, actually. Okay. He uh, he fucked with me early on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you see him in that movie Dope? Mhm. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, that was hard. Did, do you you ever think about acting, getting into that? Hell yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, I want to act bad. I ain't going to lie like that should be like that's like one of my dreams. Really? 50 cent. Come on, 50. <laughs> I know you I I I know you got a uh I know you got a scene for me, 50. 50, I'm calling you out. Oh uh, yeah, I want to be on power, BML, whatever. I know you got something for a Mexican. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I yeah. don't care if you want to. Uh, what you want to do a, cart- a, a cartel series? What you want to do? What you want to do? Some on Texas Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, picking that load up from motherfucking me. Uh, uh, the border right there. Uh, in 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 in, 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 in the valley. Uh, 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 coming to Houston and showing yeah. y'all to get there. Yeah, yeah, this, that, that. Okay. Come on, fifty. <laughs> I got an idea. Yeah. Hulu. You got a script ready? Stars. Let's go. <laughs> 50. <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that really? power go hard, I'll though. I'll be the best actor ever. I'll probably be a... Man, I'll probably be better in movies than... What? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's up, bro. Do you... Do you uh Like, do you act? Like, do you practice that shit? No. You getting ready for it? It's natural. It's natural. Okay. It's natural, bro. Okay. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I think Will Smith even said that. He said, it's not really a lot to it. It's just be yourself. Keep it it natural. Natural. Goddamn. All right. All right. Um, Let's see. How long does it take you to finish a verse on average? Mm, It depends how how much I like to be. Okay. Okay. It can be from five minutes to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Who's, Who's producing your shit these days? Every I don't I fuck with everybody. Anybody that's hard, but a lot, a lot of people is a uh, no look, quad. You know what I'm saying I still be fucking with my nigga G Major. Okay. Um, Ice. All oh, like the TSF producers. Um, be done. Be done. Fuck with be done. Hard. I, I I can't because it's a lot of people that I don't even know. I don't even know their names, but they're just hard. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So you fuck around? I fuck around. I got you. If your beat's hard, I'm I'm rapping on it. Word, word. And I'm going to cut you a percentage. hmm Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, would you ever be down to do a versus? If like so. Versus is for, like, older rappers. Oh, yeah, 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 it's true. Think about it, it's always, like, older rappers doing it. Because what a verse is supposed to do is supposed to make you, it's supposed to make you relive like those times whenever you was hearing that music whenever you were younger. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when you watch the verses, you'll be like, damn, I remember that song. Like whenever I, whenever that song was going on, I was seventh grade doing this, that, yeah. and third. Or I was in high school. I was this, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's what that shit about. Yeah. I feel like you got enough enough songs out there. You can probably do it with someone. Nah. That's like some shit like... People would do a verse like and play like music from like 2012. 2012. Uh, 13. Like t- music that are like 10 years plus old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that UGK just, the uh, Bum B just did one with a, a eight ball and uh, the um, MJG, I believe. Did you, did you catch that? 
Oh, no, nah, I ain't watch it. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Bum B. Who won? Um, I didn't. I didn't watch it all. I don't think like somebody like wins. I think it's just like they just go back and forth nah, you'll know in the who, audience. You'll yeah. Know who won. True. 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 Favorite female rapper. Favorite female rapper. Mm-hmm. Man, that's hard, bro. Just give me a give me a few you fuck with. I like singers. Okay. I like the female rappers. Really? Like, I support it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it's female rappers I support out the city. But, like, what I truly love is, like, my what I naturally love, I like singers. Now, I'd rather jam a female singing than a female rapping. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. 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 Interesting. Who Who are some of your favorite singers? Give me I your love, favorite singer. I love Rihanna, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Rihanna. Okay. I didn't expect that one. Yeah, I mean, um... Where's she been at, bro? Like, I ain't really heard her. I know Beyonce just dropped some shit. Man, Rihanna chasing billions, man. Yeah, she on that. She fancy. She don't need to put nothing out. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So Rihanna, that's the one. I know we were talking about last time you came on, you you talking about Billie Billie, Billie Eilish? I don't know how to say her name. Billie Billie Eilish, too. I want to do a song with her. Mm -hmm. That would be loud. Hell yeah. yeah. Like People like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Adele, you know what I'm saying? Adele's nice. Adele's nice. Okay, okay, okay. I like, okay. I like girl singers. Mm-hmm. I'm, I, I I support girl rappers too. Mm-hmm. Like I ain't a lot of Glorilla going off. Yeah. I think she oh, might, yeah. She probably my favorite as far as like rapping wise. Okay, Glorilla. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How long? Uh, uh, sh- I don't be fucked up about nothing because I be smoking weed. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Got some Adele. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Damn, <laughs> bro. Yeah. You got the same. You had the same reaction. Uh, uh what's it? Uh, Karma 500 had. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Karma was talking some shit, man. <laughs> he said. He said. He. He. Uh. Uh. You guys. Playing basketball the, uh, not too long ago. Uh, huh. That was hard. Yeah. You said what? I no, remember. Karma 500. He was saying that he had brother. beat you in basketball. Not too, uh, I ain't gonna lie. I think he did. <laughs> I think he did. Yeah. I think he did beat me in basketball. I saw you hit that half-court shot not too long ago. Yeah. I'm, I got, How many? I got don't lie, shot. though. How many shots was it before One. you hit that? One. <laughs> okay. One. Okay. Okay. One okay. Side. You see how my son was hating on me? Yeah. Uh-huh. You couldn't believe I did that shit. One shot, all it took. Mm-hmm. Do you do you do you play basketball often? You practice often? Oh, uh, not for real. Okay. Okay. I don't play like I, I'm, I'm supposed to, but I fuck with it though. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see. I got a few more. Um, uh, Quando Rondo. <clears throat> he recently um dropped his flag. Um, I guess wanting out of the of the of the you know his his gang that he's in. Right. Um, some people happy about it, you know. A lot of people divided on it. On it. Some people happy about it that he's you know focusing on his his family, trying to you know raise his daughter and whatnot. Especially after his his friend just died, and other but other people they feel a way about it. They feel like he could have did that shit differently. How, what, what's how do you feel about that? Everything that went down. He want to drop his flag. Mm-hmm. Do what he's doing. Yeah. Okay. Whatever nigga want to do, bro. Whatever I do, whatever makes you feel more comfortable, bro. Okay. You only get one life. You know what I'm saying? So whatever you feel makes you feel more comfortable, do that shit. Don't hold back. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Give me like, G- given like, you know, the rappers that have passed recently. Have you ever considered doing the same? What? Um, the same thing as Quando Rondo? Okay. Okay. Yeah, this shit gets deep, man. Nah, but as far as like, I don't, I don't promote gang banging in. Um, I'm a gang banger. I don't, I don't do that. I'm a player. You feel me? I get money. You know what I'm saying? 
I don't be on that extra ass shit. You know what I'm saying? I get money. Mm-hmm. And I do my shit. You feel me? Feed my family. Mm-hmm. That's what real men do. That's what real gangsters do. Is get money and feed their family. Mm-hmm. All that extra shit, that's nonsense. I'm not into that. You feel me? Um, and what do you like to do like when you're not doing anything music related, Peso? Like what's you know what I'm saying, hobby hobby wise? Um How you want shit? I know you be on Twitch, you know. With my kids. Oh yeah, I like you know on Twitch too. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, okay, okay. Um, any any last words before we get out of here? Um, LA Fitness out right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure y'all uh subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, Life of Peso Peso. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you put that. Sound screen too. Mm-hmm. Life for Peso Peso. <laughs> Subscribe now. We doing get we do uh we do money giveaways at every five thousand. Every new five thousand subscribers we do money giveaways. So subscribe now and uh yeah man, LA Fitness, make sure y'all stream that, be on the lookout for Street Pain and El Patron too. I'm gonna keep dropping songs, keep dropping projects and keep dropping videos. So shit, just make sure y'all eat that shit up and uh shit fuck with me. And uh yeah, tour in November, so some man. Okay. I hey, appreciate you for coming through. Always a pleasure. Uh, thanks for everyone. Hey, thanks everyone for tuning in to another great episode of the Jedediah Podcast. Y'all be sure to hit that subscribe for more and stay tuned for the next. Peace. Look, I gave it everything I had, dog. On my dad, dog. I'ma snatch a bag, dog. Wrapped up a tune with a squad and a flag, dog. Hanging with the trapper, still chopping down a tan wall. I'm known in the city for my hard work. Look at me, I can show you how I crown work. Plug my wrist till my watch finally drown first. For whatever stop, you'll be in the ground first. Huh. If you don't want it, then get back in line. I don't know how you do dope, but I pack it.